Welcome back to Doom 3! BFG edition! I don't think oh, you shit. understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruga. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Considering the green, I think I know what that is. And I can't wait to have it. Wait a minute, is this the front office that to I the came Alpha into Alpha. in the first episode? try to sneak up on me. Now let's see if this PDA has any security codes. No audio logs. 586. Ha ha! Ooh! Frag grenades! I'll save those for a rainy day. Let's see, can I... Nope. Hmm. Video. What's this? Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology, such as the elemental phase deconstruction hydrocon and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Well, either way, I think this is a bad idea and a half, considering what's happening. Also, what was that first device? I didn't quite catch that. Because it caught out. Oh, shit! Ha! <laughs> Groin shot. But don't you ever scare the piss out of me like that again. Hello, buddy. Would you like to die? Oh shit, that's an open window! Not much of an arc on that thing, huh? More shells. Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. 
Holy cow! You look like you've seen better days. Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. Try to find them. Well, you were a good soldier, whatever your name was. Hang on, is the entrance this window? Can't jump while I'm in front. Uh, where do I go? Hi! This is dire. Are you kidding me? There's still some bullshit security code I have to find? This place isn't exactly an easy place to search. Oh, wait. That was a big ass door, not a wall. I feel like a. Access denied. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, shit. As good as the lighting in this game is, I can't see worth a dick. Uh, maybe I should backtrack a bit? Whoa, shit! Oh. I thought an imp was coming for me. That's two whips for you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Pop your kneecaps. I remember this. There's someone up there. Knew it. That's a huge bitch. I'm fighting a pinky. Wow, just two shells? Thought you'd be tougher than that. Shit. Hmm. Surprise, oh, motherfucker! Shit. Oh shit. 
These guys just love sneaking up on me. Kidding me? None of these emails have the code. No audio logs either. What the shit? guy's office. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp. Knew it. This game just loves throwing monsters behind my back. Do it here. We'll have to access the system somewhere else. I don't trust you. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what's over here. Oh shit. Oh, it's the guys I rode in with. This must be that mysterious crew. Is that... This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the place. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, they have promised to initiate an investigation, but this news is very disturbing. Especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. Hopefully these audio logs have the, have the code I'm looking for. This is the audio log of Director William Banks. Dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. Nope, not, it does not contain the code I am looking for. Damn. 
damn, used up half a cliff to take that thing down. Let's see. Bomber shard. Got yourself some reinforcements? Yes! What's up here? This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and it peeled itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. I think it was Dr. Petruger. Now let's see. Network login. Everything's on an error. God damn it. Can't be too careful. Especially when there's a psychotic scientist about. Access granted. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. We need to pick up the pace. Can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. Hey, I'm trying, but there are a lot of, well, demons around. Like that guy. Damn, this is just not their day, huh? <laughs> Hi, sir. Go on a diet. All of y'all can fuck off. Oh, and I never got the code to that locker. Health. It's harder to play this game when you can't see shit. What? Oh, the terminal here. The UAC takes pride in its safety. What kind of fucking Please armor were you wearing if you took a point-blank gunshot? Oh shit.
For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Well, can't go through there. Fresh sources, more metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, the UAC researchers have developed a massive solution. Solutions that are sure they offer the UAC network, investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something, it's almost like uh, something was talking to him and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was just reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of love. Cabinet, huh? Where is this cabinet? 752. Now what about this video? For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Yeah, look at what that future is getting me. A journey into hell. Wait a minute, wasn't I supposed to do something in here? Let's see. Da -da. Oh shit! always something looming around every corner. Shit. Warning. EPD laser active.
Is there something that's supposed to happen? That. I also don't like how dark as shit this game is. going through there. <laughs> you don't even have a head. HRX Audio yes. log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I uh, just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people... Gas leak stopped. Fire area. extinguished. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on the benefits payout this week. Damn. Whoa, that is creepy. That's doubly creepy. What the hell are these things? Oh shit. That's right, you better run, bitch. I will fuck that imp up. Right as soon as I can find my way out of these vents. It's like I'm an imposter and I'm the an imposter in Among Us. Mm. 
Is that my heartbeat? Oh shit! I can see why my stamina is down. So that's why I can hear my own heartbeat. What in the fuck? happens when you experiment on hell. You get attacked by demons. You're not even supposed to be alive due to the fact that you're missing a head. Oh. Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrocon's blown a few circuits and was unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. At this point, this place going... This place going up is almost a good thing. What's on the PDA? Audio logs, time off. So, nothing useful to me at the moment. So that was the grunting sound that I heard earlier. I heard that. Almost a full clip to take down three guys. Is there anything in there? No, those are pretty much just batteries. Oh shit! Don't ever do that again. What am I saying? They're gonna do that regardless of what I say. 
off a red locked. Damn it. Looks like I need a red key card. Safer worlds for those things called anyway they look like my ex-girlfriend my second ex-girlfriend actually <laughs> well with that ex-girlfriend joke I'm gonna be ending off this video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one